enjoy learning with classmate notebooks this is one of my favorite segments get school with classmate it's our final edition for this series and guess who we've got on board ian bishop welcome this might be something different to what you've done in your long revered broadcast and playing career and we have three very special guests you have actually seen me previous episodes of get schooled with classmate mm-hmm. so you've come in with something you've come in with some expectation throw some light on what that expectation is well it's, it's not expectation it's preparedness because i've seen the way that they've treated the guests with <laughs> such disdain <laughs> that i had to go to the gym and prep myself <laughs> got my jacket on hoping to intimidate them that they won't treat me the same way they treated Tom Moody. Oh, <laughs> see you've seen that height doesn't intimidate them because no, so how they He's react to the top. Yeah. yeah. But on that note, let's uh, welcome our guests and we have a special new guest as well today. So, why don't we start with you? Tell us again about your name. Uh, I'm Rishan Bora. Uh I'm from St. Mary's uh, and cricket is obviously my favorite sport. Any time I get free time, I just play cricket. It's just the best sport for me. Mm. Okay, you're also a football fan, aren't you? Yeah, every sport. Every so, which oh. club do you follow? Manchester City. Wish you have any thoughts on that? Commiserations to you, buddy. <laughs> he, he thinks he thinks <laughs> that Manchester City is the only club in Manchester of relevance, but he's only looking at the time since he was born. Mm. He forgot about the fifty years. Hundred percent. You know you're wearing blue, but you're sitting on red. That is yours. Okay, that was terrible. And I hate both Manchester clubs. Typical Gen Z. <laughs> Let's move to the centre. Yes, um, I'm Anand Kishri Atreya, and uh, I'm in eighth grade, mm. and I'm um, a cricket fan. Cricket is my favourite sport. Apart from that, I play football, and I also play uh, badminton. So, in football, I support Real Madrid. So. Uh, Mm-hmm. Not a bad club, and I see you in your yellow T-shirt, which signifies CSK something else. Uh, so you brought the whole yellow army to try to intimidate us here today as well. Mm-hmm. Probably they're very unforgiving fans. Yeah, well, we've got a blue shirt, we've got a yellow shirt, and now we can guess the red, and we've got someone new. Hello. Hello, I'm Ananya, and I just entered seventh grade. I like cricket and basketball too. Ah, I like you already. There we are. You know he's yes. a big big basketball fan. LeBron James. LeBron James fan, but now I've shifted over to the Ant-Man and a Timberwolves fan now, but basketball good. Okay. And you're an RCB fan as well? Yes, I am. Yeah, even more. Even more. I'm a closet RCB fan as well. How many trophies? Oh my god. Can we get a new guest? Yes. Time to get a new guest. I'll tell you what. You'll have your chance. We shall. Uh, over over the course of our multiple rounds, you will have your chance to <laughs> teach this man, school this young man, uh, at least on one or one occasion, if not more. We must go into our first round. There's a lot that's already been said and done in exchange. It's getting hot. It's time for Gen Z speak. Okay, I think Rishan is going to enjoy this round, yes. and I think all of you might enjoy this round. You remember the rules? Let me just say it, remind all our viewers as well. Gen Z speak is where you get to quiz the great Ian Bishop here about words and phrases that may mm. be beyond his extensive vocabulary. Wow! Right? I've got a simple one. Gen Z buzzwords. Let's see how how tuned in Bish is to your lingo. Let's go for it. What does it mean when someone says, "I'll take the L for that"? That's an easy one. I have a 14-year-old daughter, oh, so oh. that's easy. And I've taken some L's over the last couple of months already. So <laughs> you've taken you're taking a loss there, which oh. is something I'm very familiar with, and something Manchester United are very familiar with recently. Oh my! Unfortunately. Thank you very much. Shooting your own foot. No, you got to be, be real. gracious when he's no, self-deprecating. No, 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 no. I want to school you. You meet me afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the things I want to teach this generation about how to own up yeah. when they get an L. Don't hide behind. Very good quality. Ah, you, and you're spot on there. Thank you. You must up- accept your loss. Have to act with grace. And he did it in a very uh, high-profile incident. That's a LeBron James quote as well. Ah, so what? That's a LeBron James quote, isn't, isn't it? it? Ah, right. Okay. Okay. Thanks yeah. for reminding me. He tweeted it recently after a game, and it just won all our hearts. Oh. So the bishop is a man you need to really look up to. Oh. Literally, Literally and yeah. Ananya, your turn. 
Do you know what IRL means? I have no idea. That's, <laughs> that's one that's new to me. URL, I know, but IRL, I have no idea. And I'm yet school. Me. IRL means in real life. Oh, right. Okay. So when I'm texting run up, mm. I can say in real life, IRL. Right? Let's yes. meet in real life. Let's yeah. meet in real life. I don't think you'll be texting him. <laughs> well, I won't be pleasant if I text him, but oh. I didn't know that, Ananya. Thank you very much for teaching me that. I'll be messaging my daughter a little mm. bit later. Mm. Very good one. Mm. I've learned something. Yeah. IRL, Manchester City are never winning anything. <laughs> okay. That's my text to you coming up. <laughs> All right. On that note, mm -hmm. uh, that was great fun. Let's move now to the grill. This is your turn now, guys, to quiz Ian Bishop on his career. Right. It's a very impressive fast bowler in his time. An even better broadcaster. But this will this will just uh, dig up some friendly memories for Bish. Oh. Right. So, Anantashree, why didn't you start us off? Yes. Your best ODI bowling figures are <laughs> 5 for 25 versus Pakistan. Do you remember how much they got bowled out for in that match? No, I have no idea, but... Tell us the story about the game. You remember the game, obviously. Uh, was that the one at Brisbane? Brisbane? Mm -hmm. The Gabba? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was a very, very green surface. Unlike many of the pitches we see in the modern T20 game, um, I think we played with a new ball from either end as well. So I would guess that Pakistan must have made... 90? It's in it is the 70s. Double, yeah, it is double digits. 75. No? Four Very less. early. Four less. Oh, 71. Oh, 71 all right. Right. Okay, almost the year I was born. It's that long ago. Thank you very much for reminding me. I feel good now. <laughs> Five My for pleasure. 25. No, it was unfair. It was, it was a pitch that did far too much for a one day game. Oh, come on. Not that I complained at the time. Pakistan would have. But anyway. And finally, Ananya. As a batter, what is your highest score in first-class cricket? Oh what a God. question. I love Ananya's He's question. He's asking all these tough questions yeah. now. You're trying to embarrass me. <laughs> um, IRL. <coughs> <laughs> What's your highest score as a batter? In, first, in, in what sort of cricket? First class. First class. I was fortunate enough to get a couple of hundreds in first-class cricket. So... I didn't go much past it, to be honest. I'd say about 103 or something. No, not no. No, higher. higher than that. Yeah. One and then, Ananya can One give more you the than answer. that. 111. Yes. Oh yes, my yes. God. And that was what? The Queen's Park Oval? In the Red Stride Cup for yes. Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, so the Queen's Park Oval, my home ground. All the planets aligned on that day, and we had a total eclipse of the sun, which allowed Bishop to score 100. And that also was a really tough pitch, wasn't it, Bishop? Just like the Waka and the Gabba, and you still managed to. Yeah, it was doing everything. Exceptional Five skill. Balls, yeah. Great bowlers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Thank you very much for reminding me of such wonderful days. I really appreciate that. All right, brilliant. It's now time for Bish to actually give uh -huh. a lesson off his own. It's time to enter lesson time. Right, Rishant? You got a question for Bish? Yes. I hear a lot of commentators say it on air, but what is a knuckleball? Ah, right. Okay, good one. And we've got appropriately some balls here. Um, most of the time, Rishant, when you're bowling, the fingers traditionally are down the seam. Occasionally, you find guys bowling cross seam, but there's always a thumb underneath and fingers on top, which allows you to get full propulsion when you release the ball. Now, the knuckleball, I think it's derived from baseball. You don't actually put your knuckles on it, but you don't put the fingers down. You just pull the fingers behind and try to make it look as though the knuckles are on it. And then when you release it, it comes out much slower without the arm speed being any less. So I think it's close to being off the knuckles, but not actually off the knuckles, hence the term knuckleball. It's for deception. <laughs> deception. And you would know all about deception <laughs> as a young man. <laughs> okay, on that note, it's time to move to our next round. It's time for the reverse grill. Mm -hmm. 
right, you guys have had your uh, moments, I must say, with uh, Ian Bishop. But now it's Bishop's turn to see whether you guys are true cricket fans. You all talk about loving uh, Mumbai Indians and CSK and RCB and following this year's IPL. Well, Bishop has followed this year's IPL better than most, and he's going to ask you some questions. Bishop, take it away. Right, I'm going to start. I'm going to leave you for last. That's special for you. I'm going to start with Ananya, who is going to get a PhD in English as she grows older, and ask you which team has recorded the highest total in the league this season. Um, I'll give you a clue. They're playing today. Sunrisers. Yeah. KKR. No, no, no. She's got it right. Don't help her. Yeah, the first one you gave. Sunrisers. I did wrong. 187 against. Your favorite team, you've got that red shirt. RCB. Aha. Oh, unfortunately. But they did win in women's cricket. They did win. They did. The ah, they well did. done. They won their first WPL this year. They did. And one of my favorite cricketers in the world, Smriti Mandana. Outstanding batter. I'm a lefty as she is. Oh, right. Okay. Lefties are the best in batting. Right. So, well done. All right. Next one. Three, as you said, we can call you. Who has scored the most runs ever in the history of the Tata IPL? Virat Kohli, Shekhar Dawan, or David Warner? Virat Kohli. You didn't need a second chance. Out here living up to your confession of being a nerd mm. in cricket. She's okay. just intelligent, period. Look, what is it that, yeah, what is it that, biology, I think, is what you said, right? Yeah, biology. Is your favorite subject. Favorite subject. Oh, really? So, where, where, do, where do you intend to take that in Heart. your own career? What do you say you want to be when you grow up? Cardiology. Cardiology. Oh, very good. I like that. Um, take care of people. By the time she is skillful cardiologist, I think I will certainly be ready to need her <laughs> service. So, so we shall be in touch. Yeah. Thank you. It's quite admirable. And this. Okay, it's a two-part question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who are the defending champions? CSK. Right. I knew you'd get that easily. Who did they play against in the final? GT. And what did each batter get in that game? <laughs> No. We're going to keep going. How many runs did they need of the last over? Uh, I think it was 16, if I'm not wrong. And who hit them? Jadeja. My goodness. Get him out of here. Yeah, no, seriously. I'm with you. Yeah. He's too good. Well He's done. Vishan, credit to you. You are a true sports fan, cricket fan. And well done, girls. You guys were amazing as well. But that's just my loose rating for the three of you. It's time for you to rate the great Ian Bishop. Remember how he did in Gen Z speak and responded to his own career and just... Comparing him to some of our previous guests, it's time for you to give him a rating. Now, Shri, how do you rate him? Let's say 9.3. 9.3. We like that. We like 9.3. Out of how many? Not 100. <laughs> <laughs> on 10. On oh, 10. just checking. Is 9.3 out of 100 is a way that we all. I'll give you a 9. Originally, 9.5. But the 0.5 goes because you're a man, you fan. Just throw something at him, Bish. It's fine. Yeah. 9.9. I like Ananya. Ananya. Ananya is what we've been waiting for for four episodes. You, you are just a boost to my ego, Ananya. Thank Whatever you. Whatever Prashant has taken away, you have added to it. Mm. <laughs> now, she gave a 9.9. If I remember correctly, you did give Tom Moody a 9.9, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Or Aaron Finch got a high rating as well. 9.5. So, you've given Bish like third or fourth. Like. Nine is not bad. You know, oh I'm, on, I'm on the WhatsApp. Disappointed. Aaron Finch, as soon as this show is over and letting him know that I surpassed the World Cup winning captain of Australia <laughs> with a 9.9. Mm. And I'm telling him who gave it to me. All right, you guys have given Bish a rating. Thank you so much. It's time for Bish to give you something as well. Bish, if you could do us the honors and sign their lovely classmate notebooks. Personalized, of course, with the franchises they support. It would be an honor. Except for the Man City fan. <laughs> so I will start with my favorite color. <laughs> An onion. We are going to be good friends, Gary. Unlike this one. Next up. Better. Three. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
just just tear it apart basically. Thank, thank you very you. much. Very kind of you. That was so much fun. Vish, thank you so much. You. Absolute pleasure. And I must thank the three of you. This is our last episode. Two of you have been with me for previous ones. It's been so much fun. It's been so good to meet you. And I wish you all the best. I hope you guys had a good time as well. Yes, of course. We loved it. It was, it was super. It was really fun. You know, in fact, to show how much we enjoyed it, we do have a gift for you, Rona. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. That is so sweet. Okay, I genuinely know about this. This is on Classmate Shop. You can get personalized, customized notebooks. Wow. That's that's me, the handsome one in the middle. Right. Right. Just have a look over there, and uh, that's uh, Rishant. And that's Anand. And I'm gonna take another picture with you, and we're gonna get another version of this as well, right? On Classmate Shop, you can actually get a really cool, customized, personalized notebook. Thank you so much, Anandshri. I'm gonna treasure this for a long, long time. I can't even cut him out in the middle because <laughs> he's right in the middle of it. But I like you, man. Good stuff. Okay. Ah, and that wraps up what is our final edition for this year's IPL of Get School with Classmate. Thank you so much to Ian Bishop. Thank you so much to our guests, and we hope to see you again soon. Enjoy learning with Classmate Notebooks.